Let's see how you're doing with your focus. So let's do a simple task so everyone can see how you're doing with your focus. I'd like you to think about the last time you sat down to watch television to watch a 30-minute show. That's all. 30-minute show, that means you have to focus for what? 30 minutes. Now, before you do this test, I want you to remember that there was a time that people sat down and actually did what? Just watch television. Let me give you an example. Sunday dinner at grandma's house. You go to grandma's house, you'll eat, and then you'll go into the parlor and get in front of this black and white television that had rabbit ear antennas, and you'd watch TV. If the reception was bad and you were the youngest kid, you had to hold the antenna, and everyone sat there and watched TV. And since it was grandma's house, it was a boring show, something like Lawrence Welk or Ed Sullivan, and the kids would get bored and start talking to each other, and the adults would say what? Shh, watch TV. And that's what you did. You sat down and watched TV, and it's the only thing you did. Okay, fast forward to today. You sitting down, remembering the last time you sat down and did a 30-minute show. In a couple minutes that you say, well, you know, I should get some work done because, you know, I'm important. And so you did what? You started doing some work and you're watching TV. A couple minutes later, did you say to yourself, well, you know, I probably should check my emails. So you opened up your laptop, start opening your emails, you're checking your emails, you're doing some work, you're watching TV. A couple minutes later, did you say to yourself, I really should check some things on the web. So now you're surfing the web, checking your email, doing your work, watching TV. A couple minutes after that, you look down to your feet and there's a perfectly good iPad sitting there doing nothing. You could be streaming a video or playing a game, so you bring it up. Now you're swimming, streaming a video. You're surfing the web. You're checking your email. You're doing your work. You're watching TV. And even though your laptop is up and you can see your emails there, your little phone has a light that flips that says when something new has happened, you have checked your phone during this whole time 10 times. By the way, what's going on in that 30-minute show? You have no idea. Let me make sure you understand what I'm saying. You are incapable of focusing for 30 minutes. That's what we see is happening. Now, I don't want you to get this twisted and leave here saying, gee, hates technology. I don't hate technology. I love technology. My company even has a tech division. We want you to buy all the technology you can, especially from us. But what we want you to do is live better with technology. So, here are three things we're going to recommend. One, you spend one hour a day unplugged. What does unplugged mean? Unplug from all technology. One hour a day. You don't even look at your phone during that hour. One hour a day, completely unplugged. Now, you cute people out there, no. It doesn't count while you're sleeping. Two, if you cannot sit through a 30-minute show, guess what? You need to do focus exercises and start improving your focus. There are tons of things you can do. Just go do some quick research on focus, and you can quickly learn things you can do. And you don't have to be high tech. Do you know the ability to sit down and study an object in detail and concentrate for 60 seconds and then build that time and then go away from the object and call every detail of the object improves your focus? And last, you need to actually do things that are important. You need to have single task activities in your life. Single task. That means if you go running for 45 minutes three times a week, single task activity. But if you go running with headphones on, listening to music, not single task. Single task means what? Single task. You need that and you need to protect it and it has to be consistent. 